Social media in China is stirring when a series of netizens posted a status where they saw a clip of Chris Wu being brutally beaten in prison. When searching for related keywords, on the Billy Billy page, there are many clips with sensational headlines, which are being shared at breakneck speed, confusing fans. Following the hot keyword, on the Billy Billy site, there are many videos of a prison corner with six men. While four people were sleeping, a man in a white shirt rushed to punch a tall guy in a black shirt. This guy held his head, knelt down, trying to support. On social networks, suspicion surfaced that this was Chris Wu who was brutally beaten by fellow inmates. Originating from a series of netizens commenting, Oh my god, Chris Wu was beaten in prison, after watching the clip, I froze, Everyone needs to stay awake when reading the rumors, the above clip has surfaced all over the world social network. However, then the person believed to be Chris Wu took off his shirt, countered, with a series of punches and kicks towards the man in white. The two struggled for a long time, the rest trying to avoid this fight. Next, a shocking scene as a man believed to be Chris Wu falling backward, motionless for a moment. Others panicked, stood still, or sought shelter. The video ends with the police entering to quell the riot, taking the man in white out of the prison. As for the boy lying unconscious, the police checked the situation. However, when this clip was shared, there were many controversial comments about the right and wrong of the content based on information about the male singer shared over the past few days. God, this clip is fake, look at it. Saw this as an overseas prison. The guy in black doesn't look like Chris Wu. Chris Wu is in a single room. Why is he being crammed into a room with so many people? Not only that but a few netizens also pointed out the unreasonable point. At the end of the video, when the police came to solve it, I heard them say things like get down here, shut up, don't move. This is a Chinese prison, why is there English? The police are all foreigners, not Chinese, clearly like the clip. Currently, on social networks, there is a lot of unclear information being shared like a storm. Fans need to be very alert, waiting for official news from the police. Following the tense developments from Chris Wu's shocking sex scandal, this morning, a series of social media accounts and Hong Kong's on page quoted the news article with a shocking headline, too unexpected. Chris Wu biting his own tongue in prison. According to the screenshot of this newspaper, Chris Wu was extremely frightened after being arrested, biting his tongue, and committed suicide at 8 p.m. Police are investigating and more information will be announced at a later date. Currently, fans are extremely confused with this new rumor. However, when searching for information on Baidu, the original article has completely disappeared. Sohu's page has an article indicating that this is fabricated and untrue information. At 8 p.m., the prison is always guarded by someone responsible for the overall situation. If there is indeed news about Chris Wu, the mainstream media will surely report it. Not only that, the Sohu page shared that over time, a lot of untrue information appeared on social networks. From the male singer's wax figure wearing a prisoner's shirt to the photo of him with a shaved head, wearing a blue shirt sitting opposite the police, are actually Photoshop products. Even the clip of Chris Wu dressed stylishly and with a benevolent attitude when he arrived at the prison was also pointed out by CNET as an old clip. It can be said that the spread of fake news on social networks is at an alarming level. Motion. Readers need to be alert and watch closely when reading rumors on social networks about this incident. Chris Wu's shocking sex scandal continues to have new details. BJH website reported another victim has just come forward to denounce the male singer's debauchery. It is worth mentioning that this victim is not in China but Los Angeles, USA. This girl informed a lawyer named Vong Tin that Chris Wu's organization of recruiting parties in Los Angeles, USA, was a public secret among international students. Previously, she was invited to a party by the male singer's manager. All activities took place very carefully, everyone had their phones confiscated to prevent photos and clips from being exposed. Not stopping there, this victim recounted that someone gave white pills of unknown origin. Because he drank too much, the victim did not know what had happened. 
While dreaming, she and Chris Wu had sex. All of this information is surprisingly similar to Do My Trucks accusations. This girl said that before, she did not dare to reveal this secret for fear of being attacked. Moreover, after the incident, no evidence could help her protect herself. That's why I kept quiet until now. At present, the public is extremely shocked and shocked by this new situation. Some comments said it turns out that the number of victims of more than 24 hot girls in China has not stopped, but some girls are taken advantage of in other countries. Yesterday, August 5th, the Chinese language media shook once more because of the information that a girl living in the US shared with lawyer Vong Tin that she was once given an unknown drug by Chris Wu. Leading to a semi-conscious half-consciousness so that the two have sex. People were shocked because they couldn't believe that Chris Wu's victims were in a country other than China. Immediately, many people were curious about what punishment the American victim would face if the accusations of the American victim were true. Paige I Fung said, if the above information is true, Chris Wu may be prosecuted and compensated following US law besides serving a sentence in China. According to US law, if you have sex with a minor, the prison sentence can be up to 11 years. If the victim is over 18 years old, the sentence will be 8 years for rape. In addition to this penalty, the defendant may also be subject to a civil lawsuit. It is worth mentioning that, before that, Chinese media also shared that according to the criminal law in China, offenders of rape and rape of many people, especially against minors, will have to face a prison sentence of more than 10 years. In serious cases such as gang rape or causing serious injury, the defendant will receive an even higher sentence that can be life or death. Besides, Chris Wu is likely to continue to be prosecuted again in Canada after being deported from China. Rape is one of the felonies in Canada with a maximum sentence of life in prison and wearing an electronic bracelet upon release from prison. Today, media across Asia reported shocking news. Thai actor Thanapat Thanashikulfisan, Toy Toy, is suspected of killing his girlfriend at dawn on August 6. According to the initial investigation, the victim had up to 20 knives on his chest. Sina Page added, Toy Toy testified that before the work, the couple argued because of work in showbiz. While struggling with a small knife, Toy Toy accidentally stabbed his girlfriend a few times in the chest, causing her to die. Initially, the police did not believe the word of this male star, now they will conduct a thorough interrogation to clarify the case. Not stopping there, images from the scene were also shared by Thai media. The victim's body has been moved, and Toy Toy, who wears a red shirt, has also been handcuffed, preparing to interrogate the police. It is known that Toy Toy is a handsome man best known for his role as Zen in the movie Why Are You the Series. The boy born in 2000 has a handsome beauty and will soon participate in a movie project. At the end of April, people were extremely surprised and regretful when Lee Kwang Soo announced that he would leave Running Man after 11 years of working. The main reason why that dear guy left Running Man was to rest and focus on treating injuries from the accident at the end of 2020. Until now, after more than three months of leaving the show, Lee Kwang Soo shared his feelings for the first time. In the program, Morning Madang, aired on the morning of August 6, when asked about leaving the program that has been with him for 11 years, the actor said, I'm very sad to leave Running Man, and until now still sad. Lee Kwang Soo's sharing also made Running Man fans feel regret and sadness. Lee Kwang Soo is a member of the original lineup of Running Man, has been with the show since the first days of its broadcast. In June, the last episode featuring, Dear Brother, took away many tears from the members as well as the audience. The absence of Lee Kwang Soo on his favorite show has left a big void in the hearts of the audience. <laughs>